Hello my friends and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random challenge where we take a random character and random weapon and try to beat Danger 5 with it. I've now done almost every character in the game, so rather than rolling and re-rolling until we get one that we haven't done before, I'm just going to go up from the bottom and select the remainder that we haven't done, uh, just to save everyone some time. This is still exactly the same challenge, but I will just be picking the, the character just to make sure it's not... Um, <laughs> not eating everyone's time while I reroll. So let's start at the bottom here and look at which ones I haven't yet done. We haven't done the bull, but that doesn't make sense for a random challenge. So let's keep going. It And the first one, I believe, is the fisherman that I haven't done, which is going to be an extremely difficult challenge. Um, the fisherman is both one of the hardest characters in the game already, but also is going to be hurt the most by a random weapon challenge, because there's some weapons I think are just unworkable since we need to clear the, the bait aliens. I think there are probably some genuinely impossible weapons here. And also, the fisherman kind of relies on having practiced the run previously, so you know how many baits you can get away with buying it every wave. I won't have done this run already, since it's, a by definition, the first time I'm seeing this character weapon combo, um, most likely. And so we are going to not know that information in advance, how many baits I can buy every wave and still survive. So I'm going to have to be kind of making that up as I go along and seeing whether I'm right or not. So there's going to be some trial and error, hopefully not too much error, and we can still win uh, in this run. But it's going to be very difficult for a random weapons challenge. Before I jump in and see what weapon we get, I do want to say thank you so much to Liesl Strick for the two euros twice, so four euros, thank you, uh, Chris Klug for the ten dollars, and Dylan Rooks for becoming a channel member. Really do appreciate it, my friends. It means a lot. All right, let's see what weapon we get, and we've got the Slingshot. Okay, so Slingshot's a pretty good one. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this, I think, is one of the ways that you can more reliably win with the Fisherman, most likely, just because it's got the primitive tag, so it's going to help you survive against the initial burst. Um, and it has some AoE damage, because it, it does the bounces. So uh, one of the challenges with Fisherman is that you just need to be able to kill a big pile of bait enemies all at once. The Slingshot with the bounces is going to help a little bit doing that. Just to remind you what the Fisherman does, um, it has huge economic penalties. We only get 50% of the normal materials dropped from enemies, so there's a 50% chance we kill something and get nothing. But uh, we get a bait in every shop, and every bait we buy gives us harvesting. So a lot of our economy is going to come from harvesting, and a lot of our damage is going to come from those baits. But the baits make uh, the lampreys spawn every single... Uh, during the wave, and of course every bait you buy spawns lampreys, and it becomes extremely dangerous. So let's see what we can do and jump in with the fisherman. Right away here, there's an element of randomness to this opening wave because enemies, how the minus 50% material drops from enemies is calculated is there's just a 50% chance that they drop nothing, meaning that how much money we make on this opening wave is pretty random. We, I'd say, got reasonably lucky there with 63 and 2 on the ground. That has given us a, a moderately higher income than expected. Fishermen should usually get something like around, I think for my, my class guide for the fishermen where I use spears, we were hoping for 65. But the 63 with a, a weapon that's worse at level 1 clear speed than spears doesn't seem too bad. I could just buy some harvesting. We do need harvesting. I also need attack speed. We're going to have lots of damage because uh, we're buying percent damage every every time. Um, all of these stats are good. I think you just want to buy attack stats er very early on the fisherman. So I'm just going to buy the attack speed and try to get that going. We'll buy attack speed and flat range damage very aggressively early and just rely on the baits to give us harvesting and economy. Um, I'm going to re-roll, and before I buy any bait, I'm going to see how many slingshots we're working with to uh, to be able to have, like, so I know how much clear speed I'm likely to have. Because if I don't find any slingshots, like we aren't, then I probably cannot buy that many baits. Uh, that is super unlucky, I would say, finding only three and not even getting to lock another one. But let me... I think, so I'm only going to buy one bait with only three slingshots. I just don't think we can afford to... Um, buy more than one. One even might be pushing it, but I think we can survive with one. I mean, we've got 22 HP at least, so we shouldn't just get one shot. But I, I'm going to roll again, lock a slingshot, that's good, and then we can buy one, our one bait. 
That gives us 23 harvesting, which is not great, but it's fine. I'm going to be very conservative with how many baits I buy in the early waves, I think. So in this first wave, these lampreys are going to deal two damage if their bodies hit me, but one damage if the projectiles hit me. We're not really fast enough to get out ahead of them yet, and you, you want to get fast enough that you can get out ahead of the lampreys so that they don't charge, because they only charge if they get close enough to you that they that it triggers their charge. So once we get some move speed, we'll be able to get out ahead of them. Here, I'm going to roll. I could take armor, but I, I just want damage. Um, I need... Percent damage doesn't matter for us because we'll get lots of that from the bait that we're buying. So I'm going to roll again. I guess I'll take 10% attack speed. And then here, I guess I'll take 5% crit chance. I'd rather have any other damage stat, basically. But it's a level 2 upgrade, and I've already re-rolled uh, twice. So I don't want to get too carried away doing that. I'll buy a slingshot here and roll. Buy another slingshot. So that would mean no bait if I buy this slingshot. Do I want to do no bait on this wave? I think I don't. I think what we're going to do is buy the bait and the coffee. And then this way I've at least bought one bait this wave. Um, and we'll leave this slingshot locked. That way I still have this weapon guaranteed. If I'd had one more material, I'd have just bought the slingshot and the bait. But this way we can at least, uh, at least make sure I'm continuing to build my harvesting a little bit. I really don't want to have to, to be in a position where I can't buy any bait in, in a wave, but I also don't want to over-purchase it and end up in a position where we just die. And it's very easy to just end up in a position where you're, you just die. I'm also, because we're a slingshot build, I'm going to be looking for baby gecko so we can pull in some of these materials I'm leaving all over the place. Let's focus down this lamprey. Um, trying to pick up as much materials as we can. We left 13 on the ground, but that's okay. Here I'm going to take 2% lifesteal. We definitely need to build lifesteal, because, again, we're a slingshot build, and this is a level 2 upgrade. Um, I'll buy this, and I'll roll, and I'll buy this, and then can I afford two baits? I think probably not. With no flat ranged damage, it's more difficult to afford two. So I think I'm going to roll once, see if there's anything else I can get. I'll definitely take the weird food, buy this bait, uh, do I roll again? Probably, because I can lock a slingshot. I'm uh, actually, I'm deciding on the gentle alien, because gentle alien means more spawns from the lampreys if we buy this, but it is also just max HP and, and damage. I think you you should usually pass on gentle alien on the fisherman, because you're... The additional enemies are worth less money to you anyways, since there's only a 50% chance of them dropping anything. So you should usually pass on Gentle Alien on this character. Feeling okay about where we're at so far. We've gotten our six weapons. We have a seventh locked, so we're at 34 HP. 20% attack speed is pretty good, um, but I do need some flat range damage. This is the biggest thing that we're missing right now. You can see we're taking a lot of damage every time I take a tank a hit right now. So I, I need to be able to focus down these lampreys before they can uh, get their charges off. And also just not walk into non-lamprey attacks. You really want the lampreys to be the only threatening thing to you uh, when you're playing the fishermen. If the other enemies are, are putting you under pressure, then it's really a problem. Because you should be so economically ahead of where you would be on a normal character. Or so, so ahead in terms of damage of where you would be on a normal character. That the normal enemies aren't doing anything. Um, do I just want 8 harvesting? That's basically 4 baits worth of harvesting, or I could take 6 speed, which can help us get ahead, out ahead of the lampreys, or I could roll for ranged damage. I think I'm going to take the harvesting. I think it's still early enough to grab that. We'll take this. I guess I'm just going to buy out this whole shop. Take my free reroll. Um, definitely max HP. One more roll here. Definitely locking a slingshot. We also have three elites, which isn't my favorite, though hopefully by that point our damage will be high enough to just kill them very quickly. You can see how different this is from with the spears, because spears are just pure piercing damage, so it really doesn't matter how many lampreys there are on the field, you can kill them all just as easily. Uh, but with the slingshots, we have to kill them individually, so it's much more difficult. This is just an alternate way to, to win this 
or to play this character, I think, where you, you play much more conservatively. I like the slingshot, uh, the spear build, because it lets you get much greedier. With Fisherman, you have to basically walk a tightrope between getting so greedy that you die, because so many lampreys spawn that they just kill you, uh, but also not getting greedy enough where you are not keeping up your economy. And we're kind of on the not greedy enough side right now, but I'm not convinced that our weapons have the oomph to get us through these waves currently. I think I'm going to keep buying Harvesting because it's a level 2 upgrade. And uh, we can start increasing it by more than 2 per wave as well. Take the max HP, take the Slingshot, let's roll. Rolling again. Definitely have to buy this Hedgehog. We don't care about HP regen and we badly need um, flat damage. So let's take a look at, at our level 2 Slingshot. 17 damage, we buy this. It's still at 17 currently because we only have 29% damage. But this is going to start boosting significantly as I buy more baits. So it goes up to 18. And then each point of flat damage we have is going to matter a lot because each bounce also does uh, the same amount of damage. So every point of damage we increase this by multiplies our damage that we're doing. Every point of damage your slingshot does is multiplied by the number of bounces it does as well. So this is 18 times three per shot. All right, feeling okay so far. I need to get out ahead again of these lampreys so that, cause if you get out ahead of them, they don't charge you. And then, because we're slingshots, actually, if we get out ahead of them to where they can't charge me, then I can bounce shots to them from the other enemies, which is a fairly safe way to kill them. But now their projectiles are doing eight per shot, which is a lot. And I have currently not enough lifesteal to sustain through that. I'm okay tanking a little bit of damage there just to focus those down. I really need to make sure I'm like picking up the materials that do drop, because we don't get as many materials dropped as other characters. I would have loved to kill that tree. Lose 3% attack speed, but gain 2 HP. Um, I think that is worth it. I'll take 6 health here. Yeah, max HP is really important on this character. Ooh, do I want 12% damage? No, I, I just take two flat range damage. We're, we're going to be building tons of percent damage. Um, this is a very good chop for us, finally. So we get to get a level 3 slingshot, a coffee, and a bait, and roll. And lock this bag, lock this lost duck. With a level 3 slingshot in tow, and having picked up two more flat damage... I don't know if you can hear my chair, it's... Has, that's like a horrible creak it just gave off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'll oil that before I record next. Uh, the, Anyways, that, that was really distracting. Apologies. Um, since we just increased our damage a lot, maybe we can afford a second bait. I don't want to get too greedy, but I think we can probably survive one more bait. So let's give that a shot, and if I die... Then that's unfortunate, but you gotta gotta take some chances sometimes, make mistakes and get messy. Um, all right, so the bouncing shots were doing well, and we were able to clear through two baits worth of enemies without too much trouble. So I'm feeling like at least for the next wave or two, we can go with two baits and really start boosting our damage a little bit and our economy, which will help a lot. Especially because I have the weird food. The weird food's a big deal, actually, because it, it lets me heal up the initial burst damage that we take from the lampreys much quicker. You could, like I said, you could probably get greedier with this build, but this is the first time I've tried it, and so I am still experimenting and don't know how many we can reliably survive. Let's roll here. I need to get uh, better stuff than that, but I'll take two armor. Very important to be building my armor up, because it's almost impossible in the later game not to take hits from the lampreys. So you need to be able to survive those hits when they're coming in. Take the bag, take the lost duck, definitely. I need to boost my speed as well. Um, let's roll here. Cute monkey. I wish I could take cute monkey, but we can't, because we can't reduce our flat damage. But I will take the propeller hat, and I'll buy two baits. And then I will still buy the butterfly and the lost duck as well. 
next wave. All right, so two baits. We didn't increase our damage very much, but last wave wasn't that hard, so I'm feeling like we can survive two baits here without too much of a problem, although I did spawn it kind of in the middle of all the lampreys. Oh, I should not have walked into that last attack or that one. Uh, I, I did dodge very badly this wave, so now I am in much more danger than I needed to be. There was no reason to take all of those hits. There we go. Got uh, another consumable, so we're back to a reasonable margin of health. But definitely because I didn't boost my damage at all in the last shop and, you know, still took two baits, we were in a little more danger there. Next wave is also, wave 9 is tough because there's so many enemies on the field. They're going to tank for the for the lampreys because there's so many small enemies. They, they form an ablative layer of meat, so we need to be able to punch through that. So if I don't find a bunch of damage or like piercing or something, I might have to be a little more careful next wave. I'm going to take the incendiary turret. We don't have, we're not going to build engineering, but incendiary turret, even without engineering, is a reasonable way to clear um, enemies, and it's only worth 20, so I think it will pay for itself just to have this on the field. And I, I think I'd better take 9% speed here. I want a lot of these stats, obviously, but we need to be to increase our speed, especially before we get to the elites. Lifesteal, yes, up to 4%. That's great. We get luck. Um, do I want the missile? No, we're building plenty of percent damage off the baits. We don't need the missile. Leveled up slingshot, that's great. I wish I could afford it, but we can't yet. But I will buy a bait and the bat. Um, lock the compass, and I'll spend 17 on a second bait. I think we can get away with a second one here. Do I want the terrified onion? I would lose 6 luck, but yeah, I think uh, move speed is actually good enough. I'm just going to buy that. Alright, so this, was, this is risky, having bought a second bait uh, going into wave 9. Because as you can see, all the, the little guys are tanking for the lampreys but because i found all that move speed i'm now able to stay ahead of the lampreys they don't charge and when they don't charge they don't shoot so you they're, you're much safer with even a little bit of move speed on the fishermen because then you can avoid having them charge and since we are a slingshot build we don't even have to get in range of them to kill them we just have to be attacking something and our shots will bounce to the lampreys So maybe I could even have survived three baits this wave. I'm, I'm not sure. The difference between each bait is way more than you think it's going to be in terms of how many enemies spawn. That's something that is always tough when playing the fisherman. Like the difference between three is usually survivable with spears and four is a lot. Uh, and then five is even more. So you have to be pretty careful when you make those decisions. Um, I'm going to reroll this. I could take either of these two level one stats, but I think we can do better with a level two. I'll roll again here, and I guess I'll take 9% crit chance. It's a level four upgrade, so it's going to increase my damage a lot. Very happy to combine, buy another slingshot. I need to buy move speed. I think I'm definitely going to buy two baits, so I'll just buy this one, reroll. You can never buy weird ghosts on this character, obviously. Um... Because you'll, you'll just die from the initial Lamprey's attacks. Let's roll before I buy another bait. Just to see what we have locked. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm, I'm only buying two anyways. So which order you do that in does matter. Um, I'm going to buy this Slingshot of course. We've actually gotten quite lucky finding these leveled Slingshots. And are able to keep upgrading our Slingshots. That's very important. Slingshots upgrade incredibly well of course because they gain additional bounces, so continuing to find those has been a real boon to our chances here. The crit chance is really nice. Um, obviously, I'd have preferred that be just like a flat damage upgrade or something, or an attack speed upgrade, but we'll take any damage upgrades we can get so that we can one-shot these lampreys. Currently, I don't have enough damage to just like clear the elites as quickly as I'd like, and that could be dangerous. I need to boost my damage quite a bit before I reach the next elite. Because elites are very tough for the fishermen. Without... Um, with low armor, no dodge, and not that much lifesteal, I really need to be focusing on killing the elite before too many enemies appear. 
killing the elite and the initial wave of lampreys. We can also just not buy bait going into the elite wave to avoid the initial lamprey wave, um, and maybe that'll be the strategy. Still making pretty weak income from these waves, by the way, just because my harvesting is okay but not great, and we're not clearing enemies, and of course we only get half materials from enemies. But we're, our clear speed is also not currently amazing just because our, our flat damage is so low. 15% attack speed is a huge deal, though. That's going to help a lot. And let me combine by a slingshot. Um, I think I'd better buy this blood leech. Yeah, the harvesting loss is painful, but 2% lifesteal is really important. We need to get this to 10 or 15% as soon as I can. And then I'm going to buy two baits this wave, I think. Um, do I buy handcuffs? Handcuffs could be really helpful if I can boost my max HP. I only need like 80 max HP to be happy with the handcuffs. So maybe I just lock this and wait a couple waves. It means having basically two dead chop slots because we've got the, the bait and the handcuffs locked if I do that. But I think it's probably worth it. Um, let's let's reroll once here. I'm not going to buy a, bait, a third bait, I don't think. Just go to the next wave. All right, so if I find enough max HP, this next couple waves. Basically there I just moved to crowd the, the lampreys together. Um, and then they're all in the same place. If I find enough next HP in this next wave, max HP, excuse me, in this next shop, then I should be able to buy the handcuffs for the elite. If I don't find it immediately, then I will have to wait until after the elite probably, because I don't think we can cap it like 60 max HP. 80 I'm okay capping at, because we can just buy armor and dodge after that. Even like 75, I think I'd be I'd be okay with, though not thrilled. But the amount of damage it is is, is too good to pass up. So I'm going to reroll um, very aggressively in this shop, looking for like a, a level three max HP upgrade, basically, in our in our next level up. Uh, didn't find it. I, I saw this level 4 and was like, oh, hey, I'm level 4 max HP. That would be really good. Okay, so I could take 15 luck. I think I'm just going to reroll. Still looking for max health. I don't want to reroll too much more, but I will take this move speed. That will help against the elite. And I don't think I can afford to buy the handcuffs going into this elite wave. I'm also going to not buy bait here because I just don't trust my damage at this point. So we're going to roll. Buy the lemonade. Um, I can't by injection, it'll reduce my max HP. Broken Mouth is really good, though. That boosts my HP to 57. And I am going to take the Cyclops Worm. Yeah, our percent damage is really, really high, so this is less efficient. But it's still good to just increase my damage. And I need any damage I can get before I face the Elite. Um, maybe I can get away with one bait. In which case, uh, I should buy that now. Yeah, I have 8% lifesteal. I think I can get away with one bait before facing the elite. All right, let's go shoot this thing. Normally what you would want on the fisherman... Is, this is also one of the hardest elites we could have gotten, by the way. Um, normally what you would want on the fisherman is to have enough uh, damage that you kill the elite without having to worry about take uh, the lampreys at all. Um, this one's really hard because it's going to put me under constant pressure and I have to be like across even if I'm across the map from it um, it's able to stay oops walked into that thought I would kill those guys before I took the hit there because normally what I would have wanted to do in this spot is to stay across the map from the elite and trust my bounces to bring it low and then we can focus it sort of near the end of the wave but as is we were able to survive uh, I, one bait was was fine. Didn't make that much money, but we did get a uh, fairy. That's pretty good. I'll take this for sure. Just more regen is always nice, and fairy is just a, an extremely powerful item, so always happy to see it. And then, actually, yeah, we've got... Our armor definitely is going to need some repairs, but 22 luck. We've got good crit chance already, so I'll take that. And then here, I'm going to reroll this. I'm still looking for maximum health. I'll take this, going up to 67. I'll take this, and then I think I'm going to... 
leave this locked for one more round. So I will buy a bait because I'm definitely buying one. I'm probably going to buy three. Ooh, mouse is really interesting as well. More enemies is not that good on Fisherman. You often want to skip Gentle Alien because it does increase the number of enemies that spawn from the Lampreys. So if I increase my enemy spawns too much, then the, the amount of Lampreys on the field is going to be too high for us to deal with. But 5% lifesteal is a lot. So do I just buy the mouse? I think I am going to chicken out on the mouse and pass because while I do want 5% lifesteal, the number of lampreys on the field means that I can buy fewer baits um, if I have the mouse just before the, they become too dangerous. So I, I need to avoid buying stuff like this. I will take a second and I think we're going to go for a third. I'm not going to take either of these items, I don't think, because I can't go to negative armor. I mean, community support is really good. Blood donation, the amount of incoming damage might just be too much. <laughs> um, maybe what I'll do is I'll stop at two baits and I'll buy both of these. And then I do have the HP regen offsetting the blood donation. So basically I, I'm just relying on my lifesteal. Feels bad not to buy a third bait when I have one in the shop and it costs one material and it costs one in the shop. But since I just bought two items that make me less tanky, I think I'd better avoid that. But community support is really good against the Lampreys because a million of them spawn at once. So that gives me a bunch of attack speed in the early part of the wave when I need it against the Lampreys. We were able to clear those out very quickly. It's possible I could have bought that third bait. But like I said, I really want to err on the side of caution in terms of how many baits I'm buying in this, in this spot. Especially because I just picked up a really good economy item. So I don't need as much help in terms of economy anymore because we just got the blood donation. But yeah, with with even only 8% lifesteal, slingshots are so good for lifesteal because of the bounces that we're healing very quickly in addition to the fairy healing. So I think we can support those items. I now need to find both armor and max HP quite badly. Um, but we should hopefully be able to do that. You can see I am still struggling to clear some of the small, just like the normal aliens. Ooh, do I want candle? I think I do, actually. Um, reduced number of enemies, like I talked about, for the same reasons that mouse is dangerous on this character. Candle and uh, white flag are actually quite good on this character. So we are going to take candle, an item I normally would never take. So I do want max HP because I really want to buy those handcuffs. But there's three armor in the shop here. I think I'm going to roll for the health. All right, that's painful. Do I want to, to cave and buy the armor or roll one more time for the health? All right, we did it. Very expensive nine health, but that lets me free up my shop slot again by buying this handcuffs. And 77 health is fine. Definitely buying one bait, even though it's an elite wave. I might even buy two. Because um, now that I have community support, it's less painful to have baits going into the elite waves anyways. Buy the slingshot um, to upgrade that. And I think I'll just buy the beanie here. And do I buy a second bait? I think I am going to buy a second bait. And I will buy the scope. Our, ra our flat range damage just got a lot better, but still could improve. While I do want attack speed as well, we've got community support. So flat range damage is the thing we want the most. All right, let's focus down the lampreys. So yeah, I cleared those out super quickly because I, I just bought the, the handcuffs, so my damage has gone up massively. We are a slingshot build, so wave 14 is not a problem for us because our, our bounces will clear out the summons. This also one of the easier uh, elites we could have had. <laughs> Although less easy if I just walk directly into it for no reason. All right, there we go. Have healed back up and get to clear kill that tree. Yeah, I could even maybe have bought a third bait. I was kind of hoping to get one of the really difficult weapons for fishermen, but it's, it's kind of nice to be able to do this because the fisherman guide is one of the first ones that I did. Um, and so having a much more up up to date version of doing the fisherman where I, you know, know a little bit more about the game than I did 
six months ago or whenever that was, maybe even longer, uh, is pretty good. I will lose max HP to get the jetpack. Boosting my dodge is going to be one of the best ways we can increase our defenses now since we are capped on HP and the speed is still very important. And then let's roll here and definitely have to take the armor. I could use, you know, obviously I want the flat range damage as well, but negative two armor is horrible, so we cannot afford to have that. Another nuke launcher. Well, I'm going to pass on these nuke launchers. I, I should have mentioned the last one as well, because I, I am going for the random weapons challenge, and this is a hard character, so I don't want to just get carried by these weapons. Um, I, th I feel like on easier characters, the random weapons challenge uh, is less... Uh, you know, it's it's more acceptable on the easier characters to deviate from the random weapons challenge for the cool weapons. On a hard character like Fisherman, I really want to showcase that it's possible even if you don't find cool weapons. So we're just going to avoid the nuke launcher here and roll again um, by a slingshot. And now I think I can go up to like four baits because we really are doing very well in terms of damage at this point. So I'm going to do that and this. Uh, glass cannon I don't need. We have tons of percentage damage, so that's okay. Because not only is my damage good, my move speed is really good, so we can get out ahead of these lampreys and avoid their attacks much more easily at this point, so I can I can get much greedier in terms of how many baits I buy. I know it breaks everyone's hearts when I pass a, a nuclear launcher, but for for this character and this challenge, uh, I think I'm going to stick strictly to just the weapon we rolled, just to show that how it's possible to beat some of the hardest characters in the game, even without any fancy weapons or anything. Slingshot, obviously, a very good weapon anyways, but you know... Having gotten this much move speed really helps out a lot as well. Baby Gecko, we definitely want. You always want that on slingshot builds. I'm going to just take this max HP, I think. Oh, no, I should take the crit chance because that gives us luck as well. Um, I now don't need to buy more compasses and stuff. We have 45% speed, so I definitely don't need to increase that any further. Uh, at least for now, I will buy flat damage, of course, and lifesteal. Yes. Bait. Yes. Roll again. Um, that's three. I need to be careful not to go too much higher than, than this. I think I will go to four baits and we'll buy the slingshot and the hedgehog. Pretty happy with that. Um, armor is, uh, armor and dodge are the things I need the most. Oops. Walked into two of those shots there. The... The buffer aliens, then I walked into that one. I'm actually a little bit too fast now. Uh, so uh, I'll take stuff that decreases my move speed a little bit if I take if I see it. Because it, it's I'm now fast enough that it's somewhat hard to dodge. Just because I, I walk into things before my old man reflexes can catch up. But the move speed helps a lot both to avoid getting charged by the lampreys, which matters a ton, and also to pick up all these materials we're leaving on the ground. It's a big chunk of our uh, of our income here. So definitely worth it on every character to invest in move speed, but especially important on, on a character like this and on the, on the fishermen in general, I think. Definitely taking more armor. That's incredibly important. Do I want to lose one HP to gain one regen? Because we don't have a snake and we do have a fairy, so this will give us one health regeneration. I think I'm just going to recycle it. Um, I guess I'll just take more crit chance. I would prefer armor or dodge, but uh, crit chance is worth luck as well, so it's always worth grabbing that. I'll take the metal plate, definitely, and the bait. It's still not worth picking up chameleon for only 3% dodge. Just a very inefficient item. Two... I'm going to stop at 2, I think, on the Elite Wave. Do I want this Blood Leech for more lifesteal? Probably. Actually, we have community support. I'm going to go up to 3 baits on the Elite Wave. And then here, 
Uh, I will definitely take this upgraded slingshot, and I will lock the broken mouth as well, because broken mouth will get me back over my HP cap. Yeah, we're not getting full value from this, but if I take anything that decreases my HP in future, this will help out. All right, so three baits. I don't think that will be too much to, to kill. I could actually have gone up to four pretty easily there, yeah. Still in the kind of early game conservative mode. Though again, with no piercing and with this, this summoner elite... Oh, whoops, okay. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe I was right not to take three baits. Because with the summoner elite, the, the summons are tanking for the elite as well as for the lampreys. So that's putting me in a lot more danger than I would otherwise be in. There we go. Just got to back off from it and have the bounces kill it. So that's part of why I wanted to stay conservative in terms of how many baits I bought. We were still in a lot of danger that wave because my defensive stats are still not great, right? We've only got 75 health um, and we're capped We at 77. We have like five armor, which is just not very much and very minimal dodge. So I'm still just relying on pure damage to see us through these arenas. Take the bat for sure. Um, this doesn't do anything at this point, so we'll recycle that. And then I'd better recycle this as well. We have 240% damage, so 7% is not a big boost. Alien Worm, I'm going to recycle. We don't need the max HP because we'll be capped after buying the Broken Mouth. Actually, I shouldn't have locked the Broken Mouth. We'll be capped after leveling up once more. So I probably don't even need to buy it. Um... Yeah, I just need armor and dodge, but I, I'm going to reroll for a better than one armor. We have 74 luck. We should be able to get a, a leveled up. Uh, we should be able to get a higher level item here. Come on. Well, I spent a million on that and ended up still not finding anything good, but I will just go up to 17% lifesteal. That's going to help us heal a ton. Take the duct tape. I think I'm just going to pass on the broken mouth because I realized I can get that HP just by leveling up. Oh no, because I, I just took the duct tape actually, so should have locked the broken mouth. I'm a genius. Very foresightful. Uh, this is two baits. Three. Definitely taking the metal. This has a lot of the stuff that we want. Even though it costs me eight luck and four percent crit chance, we just need armor more than anything else. Um... Uh, four bait, and then I think I will take a fifth bait this wave. And then I'm going to take this Tardigrade, actually. It It is basically going to block one Lamprey hit, but with only seven armor and not that much max HP, the Tardigrade is going to be a significant percentage of our defense. So I think... Oh, no, whoops. Totally forgot I had blood donation. All right, well, completely wasted that 180. Hopefully we can win again. A anyways... <laughs> Everyone uh, yelling at their screens there. Good thing it wasn't Triangle of Power, though. Obviously, when you have blood donation, buying Tardigrade is is not a, a wise move. One of the reasons that I like to avoid Tardigrade in general, by the way, is that the items that deal damage to you are typically very good. Blood donation and Bloody Hand are both excellent, and Tardigrade is useless in combination with them, so... Uh, and it's easy also to forget that you have them, at least if you're me, and aren't paying <laughs> attention, apparently. But our lifesteal and damage is now enough to see us through these, these arenas. I could take the Goat Skull for one regen, but we would lose 2% crit chance, so I don't want to do that. I will take more luck from there. I'm going to reroll this. I honestly don't need to increase my crit chance more. I just need defensive stats, I think. No, I should just take the damage. At this point, we're just going to try to burst down everything. We'll take Baby with a Beard for sure. This gives us extra burst damage, which is great. And then we'll take one, two, lock this. I don't really need either of these at this point. Um, our lifesteal is plus 17, is 17, so we don't really need the... The lifesteal from the ritual and the damage from the ritual is useless, of course. Or not useless, but not impactful. Bag will probably not pay for itself. It might, though. I mean, it might get me... We have so much luck. I think I'm actually going to take the bag here. Because even if it doesn't pay for itself, I kind of want to reduce my speed by 1%. Um, and then I'll take one more bait and... 
Small magazine for sure, and yeah, one more bait. All right, let's go to wave 19, obviously. Now we get to, every time I spawn in, I get to regret my decision to buy the Tardigrade over again, but this run came together well enough that just losing that, uh, losing 200 in the last couple waves was not game ending for us or anything. have to dodge these lampreys a little bit. What you usually want to do is pull them to the side of the arena so that they can't can't charge you and then move away. Obviously, we have high enough damage now that they're just dying immediately. Um, so we don't have to have like fancy movement tech against them, but that's okay. All right, well, we got our third bag. So, you know, um, I actually still want to decrease my move speed just a little bit. I would be happy to take this if we weren't capped on HP. Um, but I'm very happy to take this armor that's going to stop me from just getting one shot by the bosses. I'll take the small magazine and the slingshot. I will take more bait. Uh, even going into the boss waves, it, it's still worth doing just to increase our damage so we can kill the bosses faster. I'm going to go up to three here. Sniper gun would also be a very good pick for us, by the way, because we've even despite our negative range, because um, it does a ton of damage and we have a ton of lifesteal and uh, we have a ton of... Uh, crit chance, so it's just still a good item for us, but we're not going to take it. I'll buy this book, because we won't be able to afford anything else anyways. We don't have a book, so that's one regen, and who knows, maybe that one regen will be the difference between victory and defeat, and then I th I'm still going to just buy another bait. Um, we have bought four, but we have seen how quickly we cleared those out at this point, so we should be able to kill the elites, or kill those very quickly, and then kill the bosses. Wish me luck, and let's go in. I was really hoping to get more dodge. Having no dodge at this point and only 9 armor, we can't afford to take too many hits, but hopefully we can just burst them down before that becomes a problem. So yeah, so you can see it really was not that dangerous to pick up baits going into this wave um, because I was able to clear those out immediately. One downside of the boss wave is that there's very few normal enemies on the wave, so our lifesteal is significantly worse than it is in a normal wave, just because there's less stuff on the field um, it's with these bouncing shots. So normally we could rely on on very fast, very reliable lifesteal because we have decent lifesteal with bouncing shots, but in the boss wave we are less able to rely on that. I'm trying to still focus this guy down while not taking too many hits. I'm trying to pick up these... Um, consumables for healing. Can we kill this one, please? There we go. Alright, and we did it. So that was that was a little closer than I'd have liked at the end there, just because I ended up with so such weak defensive stats, but our damage was good enough that we made it through, and uh, that's, a would say, not the easiest way to beat fishermen. I still think that the spear is the easiest way by far, and you should check out my guide for that if you're struggling with the character, but it is the slingshot is is a very good way, and if it, um, and I think this one might be easier for you if you're struggling with the, the dodging, especially in the spear run, because the spear does require you to have slightly better movement since you need to get pretty greedy with the baits in that run. I think, whereas this run, as you saw, we can be much more conservative with buying early baits, and so our dodging doesn't have to be as strong in the early game. All right, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this look at the Fisherman. I had wanted to revisit this character because uh, it's my most popular guide uh, other than the streamer, I think. And so it's nice to, to post a more modern one as well. And um, we'll be continuing with more random weapon challenges as we go. Thank you, as always, for watching. And, of course, if you have enjoyed the video, do feel free to leave a comment. Uh, like the video. Both of those things help a ton with the algorithm, really helps bring new people to the channel. And of course, you can subscribe for more of this and other strategy game analysis. Cheers, folks. Catch you next time.